Students have been sharing resources for years. When I was in university, uh, I remember at the frat rush week, some of the fraternities would show you their filing cabinets in which they had 20 years of all the homework assignments and exams from every course on campus. And you know, they're very proud of this. I went to a boring school. Um, and you know, what that said was back then, only the students who were part of very organized clubs had access to this. But it's been going on since forever. All Course Hero is, is the modern version of that. It's the sort of crowdsourced version of that. Uh, my advice to faculty would be, put all your shared resources on your course website. In Computer Science 110, the entire course is in the MOOC, and we use a strategy of active learning um, in which basically the way it works is students will, the evening before class, they'll work through a video, they'll sort of work step by step through a video in which they'll learn some design technique. And then the first thing that happens in lecture maybe is a 10 minute problem that they should know how to do based on the design technique. It's kind of a warm up problem. And then the second thing will be a problem that starts out looking like they know how to do it and then all at once they run into a dead end that they don't know how to handle yet. And what we do at that point is we introduce additional design technique in response to that problem. By the end of the term, they've consumed the entire MOOC. The MOOC is kind of the textbook. And in lecture, they've done some more interesting, more complicated problems. I do hear from students who go on to other courses, they'll come back to me and say, gosh, it was so great that we had all that stuff, all those videos, all those practice problems, all that material. Uh, you know, I wish we had it today. What we've learned in the market, in the, in the MOOC-based market, is that learners really feel like multiple courses in a focused area that advance their career and that are clearly of university quality. You know, that's a thing people want. By putting, for example, the MicroMasters in Software Development online, we make available to anyone in BC, anyone in the world, but by inclusion, anyone in BC, um, you know, UBC's first three courses in software development. So if you happen to live somewhere far from Vancouver, or you happen to have a job that doesn't allow you to take time off to come back to school, you can kind of take these three courses, get started on a career, and know whether it's right for you. One of the things that, that we say about our MOOCs at UBC is, um, you know, we have learning objectives, but more importantly, we have this notion of a transformative learning experience. You really have to feel like, well, I know why I did this thing. Um, uh, so that's, I think, the biggest thing we're learning how is, is how to make things that truly compete for people's time. And I actually think the next frontier in MOOCs is for schools, including UBC, to look more aggressively for other universities' MOOCs, other universities' really good open courses that we can use.